I just want to say, I've never been so torn. This is a very, very tough decision. You're both amazing people. There is no loser tonight. Ah, uh, that was former Celebrity Apprentice Clay Aiken. You saw him right there before Donald Trump fired him. There was a loser. <laughs> Clay, <laughs> there was a loser. Clay Aiken joins us now. Wait a second. Your mom loves Trump, and your mom's well, going to vote for uh, 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 yeah, uh, we, I said she would vote for him. I don't think she loves him. She actually said vote for him. she was going to vote for him because of that debate the other night and how people ganged up on him, and, you know, there, there's such a push. So, your mom likes him. Your mom will vote for My you. mom, he fired me on what? national TV. Of course not, she doesn't like him. Gonna, well, wait a minute. You've know, you know the guy. I mean, yeah. he's been compared to a fascist or he's been compared to Hitler, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You met the guy. You talked to him on an extended oh, no, basis. Him a while, yeah. He's not like that, is he? No, I don't think he's a fascist or a racist at all. In fact, I don't agree with Ted Cruz on pretty much anything, except for the fact that I'm not convinced that he is necessarily should be running in the Republican Party on the, yeah, no, <laughs> the nomination. I, mean, I, I get the point. Mm -hmm. Maybe his politics are different from your politics. I get the point. But I don't think that calling him a fascist... I don't or, think that uh, like they're as different as you think that's, they are. That's, that's, that's my point. But I don't, I don't think that's right. I, you can't call this man in no, those no, terms. No, you're no, not, you're not hearing me. I said I don't think he's a fascist. I don't think he's a racist. I think he's a Democrat. That's the, you know, oh, I think that's, like, you know, and I oh, think that's, that's what, interesting. I think that's what's right. most concerning to me. I was talking to somebody the other day about how I believe he's this way, he speaks another way, and that's what worries me about him becoming president because I don't know what he will be when he's president, you don't know what he'll be when he's president, I'm not sure that he knows what he'll <laughs> be when he's president, and, and that's far more frightening to me even than someone who I might disagree with completely, you know? I understand. No, I got it. I just thought that you were totally opposed to Trump for his, his politics or his charisma or whatever it is. Listen, but I that's like not him. the case. I, I like him as a person. I always okay. say he's kind of like the uncle that gets drunk at the wedding and embarrasses you. You still love him, but you wish he'd shut up, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I understand. Um, there are a lot of big names. And I'm comparing you to big names here. I'm, I'm boosting you up okay. here, lad. Okay. Um, what have we got? We've got Johnny Damon. We've got Paul O'Neill. Uh, they're both baseball players. Mm. We've got John Voigt. We've got Mike Ditka. Yeah. The Bears. That's right. The Bears. The Bears. Mm. Ah, these he are... and I have so much in common. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. <No. laughs> They've all endorsed him. They're all for Trump. But oh, no. Oh, Clay Aiken. Oh, no, no, no. He's too much like a Democrat. No, he no. He can't be won over? No, I'm... No, no. I mean, I am a Democrat, and I certainly don't agree with anything he's saying right now, um, nor do I agree with anyone else on that side of the aisle who's running for president. Um, okay. But, but I, you know, I think the concern for me more is that I don't really know where he falls. When you were doing The Apprentice, mm -hmm. do you actually spend a lot of time with him? Yeah, you do. You certainly spend more time with him than you did with the judges on Idol. You know, I got to know him. That's right. You were an Idol, weren't you? Mm -hmm. no, oh, yeah. Law came in second on that, too. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> America's number one, number two at this point. Is, is he, um, Donald Trump, is he a sort of an easy guy to talk to and to get along with? You or? know what, he is very charming in person. What you see on TV, what you see on, mm. on, the, on the rally stage is not necessarily what I'm used to. He's very charming and approachable and has always been very nice to me. And so it's, it's a juxtaposition that's very hard for me to, to, to calculate and to justify when I'm watching him. Okay. Clay, it was a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you very much. Come back if you're not careful. Okay. We have lots of <laughs> Clay, everybody. We appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks very much, sir.